And um, wow, what a day. I, I feel like we say that a lot, but this really was, wow, what a day. Like more than, yeah. And we, we don't have the full stuff. We certainly have the rumors, but I mean, obviously, Stephanie McMahon resigning in and of itself is a giant story, uh, especially because of the nature of how it went down um, in the sense of, you know, she took the leave of absence last year. Yes. And she kind of tried to tie it in, but there's a big, big difference. I mean, when she took the leave of absence, people did not expect her back anytime soon. And they did replace her. And, you know, there's, there's, is that, but she did remain on the board of directors and she was probably, you know, it was expected that she would come back, not in five weeks, which when Vince got into trouble, they brought her back and, and made her uh chairwoman of the board, you know, I guess because they wanted the McMahon in the position. And then, today and keep keep in mind that when uh the word was out that vince was back which was on friday i mean you know people in, in i mean wwe called me immediately and it was um you know everything's you know vince is not going to be involved in creative yes. vince is not even going to be working in his office he's going to be on the board to facilitate a sale of the company and negotiate the television rights deal and you know triple h stephanie and and paul levesque were going to run the company like it's been there's going to be no change in management vince's statement when he came back no change in management this is on friday stephanie addresses and nikon and uh, i think frank reddick riddick addressed the employees for a meeting a mandatory meeting on friday afternoon no changes vince is just going to be um you know working on a sale that they hope to get done and then, um, you know, ne negotiate the TV deal and everything's going to be the same. And then today it all goes crazy because Stephanie resigns. Nick Khan is the only CEO. Um, and Vince then, you know, minutes later is um, unanimously elected as the chairman of the board of the WWE. So he's back. But that then, is post Stephanie. So Stephanie resigns and yes. then he gets the unanimous vote after she resigns. Yes. Now, it should be noted that several of the people on the board, because you know, remember, there was a unanimous vote on December 27th against Vince. Yes. And, um, you know, one of the, you know, there's a whole, a whole lot of stuff that came out of that. But one, you know, there were letters back and forth that you could probably find. But the. um you know, the key stuff in that was that they felt that as long as the SEC investigation was on Vince, it wouldn't be prudent for him to come back to the company. Um, they felt strongly about that. They felt that um, there could be more. In fact, w one of the letters from the board to Vince said, you know, there's more stuff that hasn't come public, yeah. you know, that, that, that we know but isn't public. And so this is a, a bad time for this. Then Vince, of course, you know, at the end of, you know, couple, you know, last week puts Michelle Wilson and George Barrios and himself back on the board. And then um, he replaces three people, two others, including um, the guy who was heading the investigation against Vince quit. So that's five people out. And then now Stephanie's out. So that's um, six members of the board from last week, no longer with the company. And now today... I mean, there's rumors flying everywhere now. And I mean, you, you've probably seen them, the rumors that and it's it's s several places have reported this, that that it's being sold to Saudi Arabia with the idea that Vince would be put back in charge of the company. The punk company would go private. So all this SEC stuff would be, you know, done. It's a private company again. And um, they wouldn't have to dis they wouldn't have to disclose any financial figures anymore. And. While we cannot confirm that that deal is done, I mean, it's it, the story is flying everywhere. And I don't want to, so I, I want to make it clear that we are not confirming this deal is done. We are talking about that it has been reported in several places. And it's certainly everyone before it, before the, the story first broke, I guess, tonight. I mean, it was, you know, everyone was talking about it inside wrestling. Nobody knew for sure talked to people in the company they didn't know for sure everyone at the nxt tapings was he heard the rumors that could not confirm them but everybody was scared you know for whether it's their job whether it's whatever you know there's a lot of uh 
uncertainty there, you know, uncertainty throughout the company. Um, the Stephanie resignation, you know, worried a lot of people as well. And here we are, you know, with um, a lot of questions, um, a lot of theories. Um, and probably if there is, if this, you know, if there is such a deal close, I mean, it's got to be announced relatively soon because the, you know, the company's still trading on the stock exchange and you can't trade if you're public, if you're, if you're going private. Right. So, so whatever it is, if there is a deal made, the announcement could be, you know, the announcement should be imminent and everything changes and there's so many changes and, you know, we don't even know what they're going to be. Paul Levesque is still there. I know some people think that, you know, I mean, there's rumors flying about him, but he is still there. Whether he'll be there for the long term, we don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have expected Stephanie to be gone. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, the, as far as long term, I mean, I don't know that anyone at the top level is a sure thing anymore when, when Vince comes back. I mean, because, again, you would have probably thought Stephanie was a sure thing. And then you got the, you know, um, you know, and again, she looks like she's gone. You know, I mean, all indications are she's gone for good. Yeah. You know, of course, gone for good. What does that, what does that mean? But, um, you know, if the company is sold, then it's no longer a McMahon company. Although, again, almost everyone believes that Vince was selling to someone who will also let him run the company. And of course, then if we go with, with the Saudis, it's just like whatever Vince has done, and obviously there's a lot, um, you know, it's like he they're, they're not going to bounce him on moral charges, I don't think. Um, you know, as far as the price, it's, you know, again, real, real high. You know, um, I think I saw Entertainment Weekly kind of talk about, um, uh, you know, like a, you know, a number like in the 8.5 billion range. Mm hmm which, um, you know, but they did not know of the deal and they, they, you know, speculated on Endeavor and, um, of course, Comcast, um, you know, and, and, you know, as the key people who might be buying it. And, and the other thing with the Saudi thing is, is that, you know, if it's owned by the Saudis, what happens to the TV deals? What happens to the merch deals? Yes. The, the, it's like, do people run from this company? Like, to, like it's a toxic company. Now, Vince, if that 8.5 million figure is even close to true, um, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, him being, you know, uh, over, over 3 billion, you know, well over, you know, probably, um, you know, 3.3 .3 billion, I believe. I don't have the calculator in front of me, but that's pretty close to what he would stand to get in such a sale. So he's making out like a bandit if that number is even close to accurate. And even if it's, even if it's a lower number, it's still billions for Vince in real money, not, not on paper stock market money. So, you know, he, you know, and, and, you know, probably run the company as well. So he comes off good, but what happens to the company? And that's like the big question because, and then what happens to wrestling? If the company is considered, I don't know if they're considered toxic, you know, what do they buy their way on TV? But that, you know, you take away the rights fees, this company's millions of, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in the red without the rights fees. So does that mean they're going to do massive, massive, massive cuts? Um, does that mean the Saudis will just be okay with losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year? Um, or does TV say, ah, you know what? These guys can deliver ratings. We'll hold our nose and we'll, we'll bid for them because, you know, they're a valuable property. And here's what I was wondering is if, Vince believes that his relationships with the people at USA are mean that even if they buy it, that he could still make sure that they're on cable television because, you know, he's the guy, right? Like he's the he's the he's the person who's been working with USA for, you know, 30 years or even longer or whatever, it is, whatever it is. But I wonder if that's part of it, which is I can I will make sure that you know the this this usa deal stays put but then at the same time they're doing the same thing which is what you've been saying over the last few years which is they're just going to be renting the content instead of owning it right right which i mean they were seeming you know everybody was seemingly okay with that and and you know i mean there there were probably going to be multiple suitors 
Will some of them drop out? Will they not? I mean, uh, you know, there's so many questions and nobody has the answers to them, you know, as far as what's going to happen. And, um, you know, like, and I think that's why there's so much uncertainty. What happens? I mean, this is just big. What happens to the wrestling business? Um, you know, and, and again, with other owners and who knows where Vince's head is going to be, where, you know, where they're going to be as well. Who's going to end up in charge. Vince isn't going to be there forever anyway. Um, you know, how long that will be, who knows? And yeah, it's, it's, um, and again, like, like, you know, the deal, as I said, the deal is not a hundred percent official. It's not announced. Um, a lot of this is, is just like the what ifs and there's so many what ifs and the, but the TV thing is the most important one because if these, can the TV stations, you know, will the TV stations be in bed with someone like this? Will Mattel want to be in bed with somebody like this? And and um, I don't have an answer to that. And, um, you know, um, and then as far as the talent, it's I think it will make a lot of the talent uneasy, but they're getting a big, big, big paycheck. And ultimately, I mean, we've seen with the Saudi Arabia shows, I mean, there are only a few guys who didn't go, you know, well, Sami Zayn has is unable to go, right? Sami Zayn was unable to go, but also had said that he wouldn't want to go anyway. I mean, he cannot be feeling, you know, and he's like, you know, almost, you know, the MVP of the company right now, or certainly one of them. Um, he can't be happy, but he's also just, you know, signed a multi-year contract at, at a very high dollar figure. So Kevin uh, Owens ha hasn't gone. Kevin Owens didn't go out of loyalty to Sami Zayn, and there's probably other reasons as well. But I mean, the only ones who really didn't go that are that are on the roster right now would be those two and um, um, John Cena, right? He didn't go the last time, um, you know, because he's got the Hollywood career. So it becomes interesting, you know. I mean, John Cena becomes interesting. Dwayne Johnson becomes interesting. Um, you know, Re Dwayne. Yeah, jo WrestleMania plans become very interesting. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think from a creative standpoint, I don't think that like uh, I think the WrestleMania cards and 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 the success of WrestleMania are going to be there. I know a lot of fans will say that they won't watch, and and I'm sure some won't. I don't know how big that backlash will be because there was really no major backlash over going to Saudi Arabia, and um, you know, wrestling fans want to watch wrestling, and and WWE is the major league of wrestling, no matter what. You know, I mean. Um, it doesn't mean it's the best wrestling, but it's the major league. And and those letters mean so much right now. Um, you know, the ownership of those letters is, you know, more than anything, that's the key to the wrestling business right now. I mean, AEW can do what they can do, but they don't own those letters. Um, so there you go. Um, I don't well, know, one of the things that I've been seeing and, you know, the reaction, of course, is going to be really negative. But like we've been saying, there the, we, we don't know that. Uh, you know, anything has happened yet as far as sales concerned, but the a, a lot of what I've seen has been, you know, I I I cannot support uh, a company who 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 does business, and 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 it's not only the the Saudi Arabia piece; it's also the Vince McMahon piece. Vince which McMahon, is, which is this guy used power for you know, the, these relationships and now he's back and he's got female colleagues, right? Like, like, so that's, that's still an, a, a something that is uh, unresolved and, and I, it can never be resolved as long as he's there. But then, then you add to, to that with, with what, you know, the, the rumors are and, it's really like a double whammy for for some of this fan base that as far as the the people that I'm so, sort of seeing who are very upset. Well, I'm sure that many many people will be very very upset. You know, whether um they'll continue, you know. I mean, if they don't continue to support over this, it will be a first in wrestling history where fans stop supporting a company because of uh, you know, the feelings of of not liking the owner because I mean, look, Vince Vince played heel owner on television for all those years. And, and actually, you know, the company grew and grew. And the last time Vince was on TV, after all these allegations came out, the fan base went crazy for him. And my gut says, if the, if the guy shows up on TV this coming Friday night, <laughs> uh, he's, he's not getting booed, I don't think. Where are but, they, Friday? 
What? Where are they at Friday? Jeez, you know, I don't even, um, oh, God. Um, I don't even remember off the top of my head, and I should. But I've been so fried on this thing that, uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head where they are Friday. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree with you. And, and this has got to be part of his calculus, which is, you know, we have the most loyal or, t- you know, the, the flip side of that is maybe the, the, the fan base that doesn't pay attention to the real world. Um, but that's got to be part of the calculus, right? If he's saying, hey, you know, I, I'll sell here and, and, you know, business will be u- as usual. Like that, that's a, that's a big bet that, that your fan base, doesn't care about some of this stuff so yeah um, well i mean one thing one thing as far as like this story goes that we do know is that ever since vince was ousted he did open up talks with with the saudis mm -hmm. so this is i mean this didn't come in the last week and his coming back was obviously to close a deal that perhaps the people who are running the company uh for all the reasons that we're talking about probably felt very uneasy about the deal closing because they're perhaps looking out for the long term of the company and their own asses too. You know, I mean, a lot of them, um, you know, so, um, so that's, that's, a, that's another layer. And then, you know, obviously the members of the board, like the Nick Cons and the people like that and, 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 you know, and, and Paul Levesque, you know, who voted one way um, in December 27th and voted another way today. So, um, you know, they're looking out for it. As well, so they're in Green Bay Friday. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so you know, Vin, so here, Vin, here's, Vin, a, here's Vin, the thing about about Steph. Um, so I, I'm sure more information will, will will come out about this, but you kind of wonder like what's behind her stepping down or her resigning. Um, she doesn't want to stand in the way of being a dissenting vote, but then why didn't she just? be okay was she was going to lose her the spot that she'd been in for uh, several months now but ultimately what would have changed for her uh other than being the dissenting vote and maybe not wanting to vote against her dad and the way that she couldn't do that is to step down like there's so many things that I, i'm wondering about her in in her decision to do what she did today or if she was forced out i mean it could it could be that too um you know certainly the first time i mean I know that the first time it was her choice. Nevertheless, as you recall, as we all recall, um, there was an article that said Vince forced her out the first time. And maybe they brought her back because they wanted a McMahon for the stability of the McMahon name. And now that Vince is back, they've got the McMahon. And, and, but, but what would make her, again, what would make her, she's, she's worked in this company, you know, since, Start, as soon as she started working i mean she's modeled gear as like a, you know <laughs> yeah. a, a little kid but she's been working in the company she she answered phones when she was a teenager i mean she's been working in this company for 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 her entire adult life i watched an episode of uh, 98 raw and austin is going down the hallway and he passes by a young woman and he just kind of like throws his hand and i was like wait that's Steph. And then I went, of course, I went to your observer and you mentioned the next week that that was Stephanie McMahon, Vince's daughter, all yeah. the way back to 1998. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, yeah. So, so the fact that she's, um, doing that, now she owns, uh, I don't know what, what actual percentage. I mean, it's, she owns 5.2% of the voting shares. Um, so I don't know how much that is as far as value, but she's, if the sale is, it goes through, I mean, she is um, going to get a giant amount of money as yeah. will Kevin Dunn, as will Nick Khan, as will, you know, all of the people, you know, um, that have gotten a lot of stock Barrios, Michelle Wilson all had lots of stock. I don't know if they sold, I don't know if they sold it all when they, when they left the first time, but there's um, a lot of people on that board you know and that's the thing they will be getting very very rich uh if this thing is sold at that kind of a price um and but still you know i mean i I know enough about stephanie um that i would say i mean she she is someone who really does like the business and the company so i don't think she's walking out unless either she's forced out 
or it's something, you know, that, that I don't say disgusts her because that may be too strong of a word, but something that, uh, you know, th that makes her feel that she's, her, that she's done there. She's just done. You know, we've been talking about this going back all the years that I've been doing this with you about Vince's succession plan and, and what happens. And if something like this happens to where he does sell and they go back private, um, his daughter is no longer there. Uh, his son-in-law uh, is, is, is in charge of creative, but we know Vince can do that job and has done that job forever. Then the succession plan of, you know, cause he's in his late seventies, like then that starts, you know, you, you start doing that thing all over again about what is his plan, you know, after well, this yeah. whole thing is done. Yeah. I mean, we all thought that like, uh, triple H was out of the picture, um, last year, then he ends up being, you know, um, running everything the last couple of months. And now, I mean, he's, he's still in the picture right now. Um, is he the success succession plan? Um, you know, um, probably as much as anyone, what happens to Nick Khan? You know, what happens to Nick Khan? There's all kinds of questions, you it's know, probably a lot of pressure on Nick Khan to, well, well, you know, like if, if Nick, Nick Khan has to now negotiate TV deals and the circumstances could be very different. Yeah. I don't know. We, we, we don't know. I mean, like yeah, the only thing, the only thing we know is, is that the Saudi Arabian, uh, live golf. Has not been able to get television. No, they they the, everything I'm hearing is they they're going to need to time by to get on TV. Great. So, uh, um, but now you know the thing is is that that's another situation where you've got somebody with so much money. Like you know, I'm going in there and like if they buy and there's and and the TV networks and streaming services are not that hot on WWE anymore because of this. Well, even if the fan base doesn't drop, but maybe they just don't want to get in bed with them, and it does lower the, mar you know, the um, perhaps the rights fees. Perhaps, um, I mean, I've certainly had it speculated to me from people who are in the TV business and in the wrestling business that negotiate TV deals that this could happen. Um, will it? We don't know. You know, it's you know, again, Fox, NBC, you, you know, you know, who knows what they're going to do and what kind of pressures they're going to be on that they're going to have. Um, and it's also a period where a lot of people are constricting. So it may be easier to say, eh, you know, you know what I mean? You know, we don't want them. And then maybe this is, you know, again, how does this affect AEW? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, one of the things that, that becomes that, that happens if they buy is, you know, one of the things that Tony Khan, like, you know, would say is, is like, well, I mean, of all the owners, our, our family's the richest and now they're not anymore. <laughs> If this yeah. deal goes through, but they're, you know, clearly if, if WWE becomes toxic, does that help AEW? Does wrestling become toxic? Do they become the clean company? Not necessarily that the clean company is going to win because they're the clean company, because that's not, you know, I don't, I don't know that that happens in wrestling. Um, it never has before. Um, but, uh, and clean being, you know, whatever, but, but certainly not, you know, so yeah, so much on, I mean, it, it went from a, period where um wwe was like a license to print money like literally a license to print money and um you know um and it goes to a period of of, of great uncertainty if this thing goes down and even if you know again if it sells to somebody else you know you're still going to talk about probably lots of job losses but the the key aspect of this is you know without you know i mean WWE without the rights fees is not worth anything close to what they're getting. But, you know, there's no, you know, I mean, maybe Vince is, is sure, you know, he's got his connections there. Maybe he's already talked to the people at Fox and at uh, NBCU and uh, they've assured him that uh, he's okay. I don't see them canceling him right now, but it's, uh, it makes it very, it makes them very, it's a very problematic company at this point. And then, you know, what happens, there's going to be, there's going to be jobs lost. And then, you know, um, how this affects the whole ecosystem of wrestling. And does it become a situation where they go in there and just say, you know, we're going to, like with the golf, you know, just offer so much money that Vince gets, you know, an even bigger share of talent, even if the company is not as profitable. 
because he's got his backer now that's got unlimited money. I mean, real unlimited money. So who knows, you know, how and then, and, and, you know, um, yeah, who knows how it's all going to turn out. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh! I have right. never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.